Like we said earlier, a lot of difference between tonight and last night is to really see those high clouds staying off more towards the east side of us. And that's going to be the case as we make our way down into those lower temperatures tonight. Right now, we're really seeing those temperatures hold on to that heat still up in those mid 80s with that humidity really drying us out with those winds out of the southwest right now. But we get a good look at the pattern, and this is something I want to draw to your attention with this low pressure system sitting right over here in California. What's going to end up happening is this low pressure system is really going to start to meet up and equalize with the same low pressure that's going to be here right over kind of the Midwest. And once this reaches that same point, look how quickly the storm is going to start to push. Is this system over here that's going to remain over California because it's kind of staying there because of the temperatures. It's really going to allow these storms to move quickly. As you see that high pressure we were talking about really going to build in over Texas. When we're talking about some of those temperatures really touching up into the triple digit as conditions start to dry out when we make our way into this middle of June. You can really see how much that high pressure is really going to push those storms really from Washington all the way down to Louisiana very quickly seeing a lot of that activity right now early preview over Houston and Dallas is making its way quickly southeast the moisture track are gonna give you an idea of how much this is gonna pull that moist air to the east and look how strong it is as it continues to wrap around and then we're gonna continue to watch this system over California as it can potentially bring a lot of the severe weather into our area maybe later on with those hotter temperatures so the front track are gonna give you an idea as we push through Sunday we could have that potential where we're talking about those line of thunderstorms something similar that we saw last night could be affecting us later on into Sunday and then again we're going to see an opportunity as we were talking about that moisture really being pushed to the east where it could happen again Monday night another round of those thunderstorms and then you really see the storm really starting to mature and wrap around and we could see another round of those storms uh, around Tuesday night but that's about as far as I'm confidently willing to tell you that some of these storms because a lot of this is a dynamic weather pattern that's usually typical for the fall and winter time around here right now we're seeing those conditions you can see those storms really developing and this is kind of what that setup is going to look like very similar as we continue to go through the week as you're going to see these storms really kind of staying to the east look at these line of thunderstorms really making its way from dallas down to houston very quickly seeing those warnings and then to the west of it or across the concho valley a couple high clouds a lot of dry air very similar to what we're seeing right now temperatures across the board staying in those mid 80s dropping down into those upper 70s as we continue to make our way into tonight and then we're going to see those low temperatures really drop down. Futurecast is going to give you an idea how clear those skies are going to be as those temperatures overnight really stay warm and then we get into the morning and we're going to see them still continue to warm up as those clouds are really going to stay to the southeast of us and they're going to move along that sort of Edwards Plateau region as they continue to develop a line of thunderstorms. So tonight again temperatures dropping down into the 70s because of those clear skies but those hotter temperatures today a couple clouds here and there but tomorrow an opportunity to see those triple digits again like we did today we're you're going to see those hotter temperatures, a little bit drier, maybe a few clouds coming in, but those breezy conditions here and there, and that's going to be the trend as we make our way into next week, where we're saying those temperatures are going to continue to touch up into the hundreds, seeing the potential for thunderstorms with those lows really staying down into those upper 70s, which, believe it or not, a little bit around average for this time of year. We're going to continue to monitor that severe weather as it continues to make its way into our area. But, Nathan, back to you. All righty.